morning. Yeah. Come on, fearless. Who's excited to be in the house of God today? Come on. And when I say the house of God, I'm talking about fearless OC tuning in. We got our online church as well. Man, it is so good to be here. We are going to have such an amazing and exciting day here in the house of God. Wanted to come up here and introduce myself. My name is David. Me and my wife are the campus pastors here. And uh, we just want to welcome you in, not just to church, not to an event or a performance, but we want to welcome you in into this family. What we're doing right now is we're, we're taking some time and before we get to hear an amazing message from a guest speaker, before we get to hang out and you get your coffee and you get a pupusa or some other incredible things, we want to just say, you know what, we're going to just completely put all of our focus and attention on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There is no other reason that we are here in this house today other than to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're gonna go back into a few songs. Maybe it's your first time, maybe second or third time. You're saying, man, what's happening in this moment? Uh, you'll often see us even raising our hands as a universal sign of surrender. So why don't we just raise our hands in this place right now as we go back into it. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for what you're gonna do in this house, what you are already doing. God, casting out any sickness, any disease. God, meeting us right where we're at. We thank you for what's gonna take place through every moment of this incredible day. We honor you in your name we pray. And everybody says, amen. Amen. Come on, let's worship together. You guys ready to keep worshiping with us this morning? Thank you, Jesus. You say you love me, but how could you and I ran so far?
hands all across this place. Let's worship together. They say this mountain can be moved. They say these chains will never break. But they don't know you like we do. There is power in your name. We've heard that there is no The tide will never change. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. There's so much power in your name. Who be
songs holds a lot of meaning to me because about a year and a half ago um, my dad 
went into the hospital. He died eight times and he had a cardiac arrest and he had um, every kind of life support machine possible on him. And I remember walking in the room and I just started weeping. And um, my dad, I, he didn't look anything like himself. And he, they basically said to say your goodbyes. And I walked in and I just thought of this song, the bridge, healing's coming now, sickness has to bow at your name. And I remember coming up to him, laying my hand on him and singing this song over my father. And all of a sudden, everything changed in the atmosphere of that room. That spirit of death started to leave from every place it could. And I felt the life of Jesus. The nurses started moving around. They started turning down the dials on some of the medicines and that things started changing and shifting. And I just wanna encourage you today that worship is your weapon. I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know the mountain that you're facing, but I just know that worship is a key that unlocks breakthrough. It is a key that you have as a weapon. Oh, so don't let it just lay here in the arsenal. Can we just pick it up right now? If you need breakthrough, if you need healing, if you need provision, can we sing? Healing's coming now. Come on, can we lift up our hands? Let's shout this out from the rooftops. Come on, yes. Yeah. Healing's coming now. Come on, it has to bow in this place. Put your hands together. 